All right, it's about 7 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. We're on the 5 North on our way up to the Antelope Valley Poppy Preserve. Um, it's about a 90-minute drive to get there, but conditions are supposed to be good. So uh, hopefully the time investment is going to be worth it today. We'll see what we see. The Antelope Valley Poppy Preserve is an 1,800-acre park about 60 miles north of Los Angeles. At almost 3,000 feet above sea level, the high desert environment is ideal for showcasing a variety of wildflower blooms. Most prominently of these is, of course, the California poppy. There are about eight miles of looping trails throughout the reserve, and because of the lack of shade, sun protection is a must. Before we headed out, this pasty white-skinned dude definitely needed to double up on the sunscreen. Something to keep in mind is if it's a little too chilly or windy, the poppies might not open up, but uh, today it's crystal clear with like 75 and just, uh, just perfect conditions. Looking out on the western side of the park as I got some elevation, it was certainly pretty. Still, it wasn't taking my breath away just yet. But as we made our way east, the streaks of color that marked the hills were like something out of a dream. There's nothing quite like standing in the middle of a field, surrounded by a million specks of pure orange. Peak blooms for the poppies are annually from about mid-February through mid-May, though a variety of factors will affect how vibrant, or not, the bloom will be. So obviously the entire park isn't covered in uh, poppies, but there are some areas like the one behind me where it is absolutely carpeted, and uh, it's beautiful, it's incredible to see. If you plan to visit, be sure to stay on the designated trails and don't wander onto the grass or step on any of the flowers. That's strictly prohibited and a ranger can ticket you if they spot you violating the rules. No dogs are allowed in the park and on hot days you may even run into a rattlesnake or two, but that should be way less likely as long as you stay on the trails. Parking is $10, cash only, if you want to park inside the reserve, or you can opt to park on Lancaster Road and walk in. Picnicking is allowed at a designated area near the parking lot, and there's also an interpretive center that's open only during the bloom season. Keep in mind, during peak blooms, the weekend traffic can get crazy, and the lines in the bathrooms and the trailhead are also pretty ridiculous. I would highly recommend coming early and on a weekday, if at all possible. Lastly, if you're planning a trip, you should definitely check out the official park's website to see their updates about the current conditions. All right, so that's our trip to the Antelope Valley Poppy Preserve. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As usual, I'll leave some helpful links and information in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, otherwise, uh, if you want more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.